Hi, I'm Lisa from Hans Growy. Today we're going to be looking at how to remove your old kitchen faucet and replace it with your new Hans Growy Lacuna kitchen faucet. Don't worry, this is an easy do-it-yourself job and I'll walk you through it step by step. Before we get started, we'll want to take a look at how many holes your existing setup has. The sink we'll be working with today is a single hole faucet, but for two, three, or four hole constructions, you can install the provided base plate or the soap dispenser. Let's take a look at the tools you'll need for this job. An adjustable wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, a tray to catch excess water, a cloth, and finally, a small flat head screwdriver like the one we've got here. Great, we're ready to get started. First, we'll remove the old faucet. Start by turning off the hot and cold water supplies. Usually, you'll find the shutoff valves under the sink or in rare cases, the basement. Once you've shut off the water supply, turn on your old faucet and then turn it off again to release pressure in the lines. For this next step, make sure to have your tray or bucket handy to catch any water that's still in the line. Use your adjustable wrench to disconnect the water supply lines from your old faucet. Next, we're going to unscrew the mounting hardware holding the faucet in place. Once that's done, we can lift the old faucet off the sink and clean away any grime or old plumber's putty. Now, let's go ahead and pull the Lacuna Kitchen faucet out of the box. You can see here that the ceiling washer comes pre-installed on the faucet. The friction washer, metal washer, mounting nut, aerator key, and Allen wrench are packaged separately. Now it's time to install the faucet. Start by guiding the hoses through the hole in your counter. You'll want to make sure that the hoses are straight and not tangled. Now, from under the sink, go ahead and locate the package that contains the washers and mounting nut. You should install the friction washer, metal washer, and finish with the mounting nut. Tighten the nut by hand first, so that you can make sure your faucet is lined up the way you want it on your counter. Once everything is in place, take your Phillips screwdriver and tighten it the rest of the way. Now it's time to connect all those hoses. First, find the hand sprayer hose. It's the one with the longer black hose. Attach it to the shorter black hose by squeezing the connections together until you hear a click. Once you're sure the connection is solid, go ahead and position the hose weight clip with the up arrow facing up towards the hand sprayer side of the loop. While holding the clip in place, push the hose weight down over the clip. Back above the sink, pull the hand sprayer out and replace it to make sure that everything moves smoothly. Now we can connect our water supply lines to the hot and cold water hookups under your sink. The hot water supply line for the Lacuna is marked with this small red band. Go ahead and connect it to the hot water valve under your sink with your adjustable wrench. Usually the hot water valve is the one on the left, but every house is a little different, so you'll want to double check. Do the same thing for your cold water supply line and be careful not to over tighten your connections here. Great, we're ready for a quick test. Turn the water back on at the supply valves. Check for leaks now with the faucet off, then again with the water running. You want to be totally sure that there are no leaks anywhere, so check both above and below the sink a few times over the next few days. All right, last step. We need to flush the lines to get rid of any debris in the hoses that could cause trouble down the road. Pull the hand sprayer out and unscrew the nut on the spray head. Now remove the hand sprayer and filter screen. You may need to use a flathead screwdriver to remove the screen. Hold the hose in your hand and let the water run for 45 seconds to clear any debris. Reinstall the filter screen and reconnect the hand sprayer and you're all done. Congratulations! Hopefully everything went smoothly for you, but remember, if you have any questions about the install or issues with your product, take a look at the resources below. We're always happy to help. From all of us at Hans Growy, thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy your new Hans Growy Lacuna Kitchen Faucet.